Meanwhile, he's a university student on his way to class. Because of the journey to class was too long and hot. He accidentally walked in a semi-conscious dimension due to the lack of water in his body. One, who has a semi-conscious state accidentally walked to the middle of the road. Azmi, who was riding a motorcycle, did not have time to avoid one and hit him. This caused one suffer a huge injury and made him pass out. Nazmi acted quickly by calling ambulance to take one to the hospital in Wuhan. When one woke up from faint, he found out that his wound has been bandaged and covered by Dr. Ahmad using a genet as a wound dressing. Hello, my name Muhammad Haris Ikram Belum Mekasar My metric number J20 0865 Now I want to present about introduction Biopolymer Biopolymers are naturally occurring biomolecules satanized by microbes, plants and animals with highest degree of biocompatibility The biotic properties such as antimicrobial immune modulatory Cell proliferative and angiogenic of the polymers create a micro environment favorable for the healing process. The versatile properties of the biopolymers, such as cellulose, alginate, hyaluronic acid, collagen, cytosan. Now about alginate dressing. Alginate dressings are one category of absorbent one resin that may be used on multiple one types easily conformed to one shape and come in flat pieces called wafers or, or sheets in multiple size made from brown seaweed not used for dry one that's all thank you hi my name is Koyuman and i'm going to talk about the problem statement in the accident in the video the injury occurred at the arm. The skin peeled off and a lot of blood was lost. What should we do about it? To solve this, we decided to use a product based on the biopolymer which is in the market. We chose wound dressing as our product type for a better wound healing process. We chose alginate as our biopolymer for the wound dressing as it is the fastest in helping to stop blood loss. When the wound is bleeding, applying an alginate dressing to the wound will stop the bleeding due to the faster iron exchange between the wound bed, the wound fluid, and the dressing. Thank you, and now I'll pass it to the next person. I'm Alicia, so I will continue with uses of alginate dressing. The main purpose of wound dressing is to provide temporary protective physical barrier that absorbs wound drainage and also provide the moisture necessary to optimize the epithelialization. Alginate dressing usually works as a primary dressing. As they are not adhering, they need a secondary dressing to hold them in place. Alginate dressing are used to cover or fill a variety of wound areas including those colonized heavily with pathogenic bacteria. Their ability to mold themselves into the shape of the wound ensures proper drainage absorption. Alginate dressing can absorb wound fluid in the dry form and form gels that can provide a dry wound with a physiologically moist environment and minimize bacterial infection. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nurul Izzah Izati Benti Azizan. My metric number is J21A0937. So today I'm going to talk to you about the benefits of alginate dressing. The first one, alginate dressing is a very absorbent dressing material. It can, uh, alginate dressing can protect the affected area from bacterial infection. The second one, alginate dressing encourages autolytic wound debridement. It promote it promote a moist wound a moist wound healing environment. The third one, alginate dressing is non adherent Alginate dressing can cause less pain and trauma when removed. The fourth one, alginate dressing is easy to apply and remove. It is simple, alginate dressing is simple to apply and to take off. The last one, alginate dressing is water resistant. It means alginate dressing can be worn even when the rain is forecast. I think that's all from me. Thank you. 
So my name is Ayman Zafri Bin Aziz. My metric number is J21807. So my pet is a genetic dressing procedure. First, use a saline or wound cleanser to clean the wound area. Next, dry the wound with a towel. Next, place the alginate dressing on the wound. Next, if required, place a secondary dressing on the top of the alginate to hold it in place and to absorb the excess fluid. Inspect the dressing daily, examining the wound site daily in if infected. Next, change the bandage every 5 to 7 days or when a sedate the leaks from the edge of or into the secondary bandage. Next, when removing the alginate dressing, use the saline to dampen it first and avoid the damage to the wound and generation tissue. Next, uh, lastly, use a saline irrigation to rinse the wound if the dressing becomes sticky. So, if you guys can see outside of my video, uh, example of the alginate product. That's all for me. Thank you. Okay. Assalamualaikum. My name is Ahmad Shahzwan Bizukifli. My number matrix is J21A076Y. So, for the conclusion is, overall, the wound healing process will naturally occur but by polymers product can be used to speed up the process without bacterial infection next alginate dressing is widely used nowadays for medical process uh, for medical purpose not only can it heal wounds but it also sold at a reasonable price clearly alginate is not used for dry wounds such as upper wounds but another biopolymer product can be used for dry wounds lastly all biopolymers products are very good for a better wound healing process so Alginet is a better one dressing ever. Thank you. Okay.